Okay, yo, it's your man with the plan, Marks LRs here, here reacting to the Nintendo Direct, and this is something I just came out of left field, and I was like, oh shoot, they have a new Nintendo Direct, I'm really kind of excited for it, um, what I'm kind of expecting here is a new Smash Brothers character, uh, some looks at Breath of the Wild, I'm also looking forward to maybe some pokemon news i'm guessing i'm predicting there's gonna be some pokemon news of some sort of some kind snap or even a new main series game and maybe some news on bayonetta 3 other than that i have no other expectations in here i mean whatever we get we get um i hope nintendo wows us after all this time of being quiet i know there's a lot going on but nintendo's been especially quiet even compared to Xbox and PlayStation. Xbox and PlayStation came out with a whole new system. So what does Nintendo got in their box? And I'm really curious to see what they got. And honestly, I'm really excited just to get started. Let's see what they got. Oh yeah, just before we get too deep in this video, there's a few parts of this video I feel like the sound is a little conflicting with my voice. The, there were some sound setting problems on my computer I didn't realize until after I recorded. But for the most part, it doesn't sound that bad, but just a little forewarning, you might have to concentrate on a few parts. Not that many, it's not that bad, but there's a few parts where you might need to concentrate on. Um, but yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the video and my reactions and my takes and enjoy my edited version of me reacting to the first direct we had in pretty much a real direct we had in two, three years. So yeah, thanks, thank you guys for watching. Make me make my, my year worth it, Nintendo. Let's see what you got. Oh god, is this? It's Xenoblade 2. Oh, is they going to add Rex to Smash? One day, Pyra just disappeared. Wait, let me, let me, let me check if uh, this is the highest quality. Let me put this on high quality. Okay, it is. It might be a little blocky because of the way I'm recording it, though. This is a prequel to two. Oh, it's Pyra. Is this gonna be Pyra in Smash? I'm guessing. Find her I'm not gonna make any assumptions. Either it's a, a sequel or it's Smash Brothers. It was as if she vanished off the face of all rest. Without a trace. Where have you gone? I'll find oh, you. His voice acting is actually loved a lot, lot better, actually. It is going to be Smash. This is where you were. Pyra! Sorry, Rex. I couldn't tell you. Because... I got an invitation to join Smash! Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. My girls in Smash. Oh, <laughs> yes. oh that arch. Oh. Leave it to me, Rex. So it's just Pyra. Is that Pyra and Mithra? It's just Pyra. I mean, Mithra's kind of a spoiler, kind of. Oh, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, she's looking good. She's like a. She's like a. a hmm, like a, project, a projectile sword character. There are no pushovers. Ah, uh, this. I. I was scared they weren't gonna make it in. Even though the longer it goes, oh, okay. There's Mithra. Let me handle this. I was scared it's gonna be just Rex. Honestly, I'm not a biggest fan of Rex, so the idea that they just hire Mithra is awesome. Are they the same character? Or are they Echoes? That's the question. It's so funny because Mithra has the best voice actor in the whole game. <laughs> okay, dear. So are they Switch characters? Oh, she's a freaking counter. Like every sword character. Oh, that looks really cool. Okay, there's Switches. Ooh, I'm really excited for that. Oh, does that 
switch? Wait, does switch like not let you get hit? Oh, that stage looked kind of weird. Let me look at the scaling. It looked like she was taller than like. Even though I still think I think it's Joker and Sephiroth still have the most saucy trailer out of everybody. I'm, I'm really excited. So this is one of the characters I really cared about, other than Sora. I was like, Pyra, Mithra, and Sora are the only characters I care. So if Sora comes next, I'd be perfect. Oh, they're gonna have a... Oh, they're gonna have another... Please don't say they're gonna come out with another character. I won't go easy on you! Fighting words. You forget. I figured. I, uh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I didn't really expect it. It's, it's probably gonna need some time to like sink in for me. It's like it's probably what my reaction was like. I didn't. It was not what I was expecting. Oh lord! You know Twitter is gonna be going crazy. Hello, everyone. Sword fighter. It's been a while. Titty sword fighter girl. I'm Shinya Takahashi from Nintendo, the newest fighter in the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate game, Pyra and Mithra. They originally appeared in the Zelda oh. Chronicles series. Oh, they look good. Please look. They look really good. To their move set in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. This fighter releases in March, so we hope you'll stay tuned just a bit longer. Venture into the vast reaches I'm not gonna lie, a lot of these games look really good, the indie games. I just feel like a lot of them... You have 22 the, the premise is so that, not... I don't know. A lot of video games, the premise is like... Oh, be epic. Do epic stories or However, epic epic or emotional reset, tales. And I feel like the games that are like... Experience this weird thing! It's normally not like the... They're good games, but it's not something that if By you are somebody cycles, who has a lot, not have a lot of time, it's something you don't really want to spend your time on. You rather spend your time like on a Final Fantasy or a Kingdom Hearts, something really epic and cool. What messages will you discover? The character design is pretty cool. Semi Warriors Five looks really interesting. And the, the soundtrack sounds good, so I, I might look at it. It's Koei Tecmo. It looks like Koei Tecmo. <laughs> Dive into the history Even though I'm not gonna lie, period. like a Final As Fantasy had this art style, I think it'd be really cool. Oda and Mitsuhide Akechi. Character designs and visuals have been revamped for this Ooh, installment. Cute. Okay, that's the warrior's got some like the dudes and girls have some hot ass designs. There's some hot characters. This must be it's like Monster Hunter. Yes, it is. I played too many games. <laughs> I shouldn't know the game, but like the first frame. It's the way the creatures look. It looks like, you know, oh my god, what the f is that? I don't think I saw one insect monster in the world. I'm a, I'm a noob. And people got all my. Ugh, this kind of gross monster. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I, even though I really appreciate it being on Switch, I, I'll, I'll keep my, like, my judgment that it's I, I really would miss it being on the PlayStation or the PC because the, the the graphics for PC and PlayStation just made the world seem so cool. It was so cool. I'm not saying that this ain't cool either. It's just like the water physics. Like it was one of the prettiest games I think I've ever seen still to this day in the world. But you know, this still still be on Switch. It still looks cool. It looks Elder, good for a Switch game. I have important news. So oh my god, I forget how cute the twins are. I might just, uh, the villagers. I can't wait for the that uh 34 in the MMD. The rural village was attacked by the Rampage and Magnum Malo, And we suffered some devastating casualties. How can we fight against that? Our hunter is about to face the biggest challenge go, yet! Go. What the heck is happening? We can't lose this gate! Pull yourselves together! Okay, Monster Hunter, you don't have to sell me on the story because Monster Hunter really doesn't have a story for- I mean, it does, but it's not, like... It's it's there for a placeholder, honestly. It's, it's one of the few times I would say that it's the Monster Hunter story. There's a scary monster that's gonna destroy everything! We'll stop it! The Rampage. How long do you think it's going to last? Even though it looks like it's gonna be like a boss rush there? 
But Monster Hunter story, I don't know. Monster Hunter, they always try to hype up the story, but the story is you literally know, what it is. We should start in every preparations game. right away. <laughs> kind of like Pokemon. They're here to but offer even. assistance. Oh, they're cute. We must stop the calamity. Oh, how many games on the Switch gonna have the calamity in it? I think there's at least three games. Calamity Ganon. Oh, that, that that switch and that control looks sick as hell though. That was the latest trailer for Monster You know, I kinda wish sometimes they wouldn't just go like black and then one small design. Like, keep it you can have a black background, but make it like a, a whole like gaudy design or something really stupid looking or cool looking. You know, make it make it seem like it's worth Next, more than just like, please take a look like I don't know this. like the Kingdom Hearts PlayStation. That's a cool black system. Ooh, they have the Mario the Golf. The is open once again. I I've never been a fan of the Mario Sports the game. Oh, the soccer one. Of the Mario Even though I've Golf played the soccer Coming one one time. Nintendo Switch. Joy-Con controller like a golf club. <laughs> I, I just never been a fan of these Gently games all the way through. I'd rather play Wii Sports. <laughs> swing in the game. Personally, you easily enjoy the Not saying it couldn't be cool. Oh, you can free roam? Okay, now that, that might be a little there are cool. There several modes with new elements that truly bring the heat to Mario Golf. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's one. a little cool. Speed golf. So it's like Here, it's like mini golf. It's always your turn. Everyone tees off at the same time. You just kind of go crazy until somebody gets in the hole ball. and first Give and it another they count their own to the hole, strokes. Then keep going. I mean, it's kind of like the other games online. Come out on top. Your golfing skills just, aren't the only thing. Is it like let's play golf? Make him story mode. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> story mode in my Mario golfing game. And develop your It's Travis touchdown oh, versus assassins. Oh, I forgot Wait, about this. Aliens? Aliens have invaded Earth. Hold up. Is this even the right game? Anyway, after annihilating an entire that city, entire the aliens That's have a cool taken design, over. Though. Now hosts an intergalactic superhero ranking tournament to decide Earth's fate. Here we go. As the crass beam katana wielding assassin Travis Okay, the touchdown. gameplay. You'll need the to story's gonna be ridiculous as ever. Oh world. my god. Hey, 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 not so fast. To enter each boss fight, you'll have to do some odd jobs around town and earn enough to pay right. off the entry fee. It's kind of like it's kind of like a. Oh, uh, um, I like it. Okay. Most I thought I played a normal Heroes game, but I watched Let's Plays of it when I was younger. Study their tactics carefully. What the heck was that? Final Fantasy. It's like with a new and improved death what blow, the you'll have access to a variety of deadly skills that can be customized and upgraded before each match. <laughs> I love to how crazy this game is. The fate of the get. world is at stake, so get ready to kick some uh, whatever aliens have that you can kick. Anyway, it all makes sense when No More Heroes 3 lands on Earth. Oh god! You know, I, Nintendo Switch. I can tell this is going. The story is. The story is going to be just ridiculous as ever. Even more since it's like it's, it's in the realm of crazy. Exterminate craziness. demons in he heaven. Band together on a quest to face is evil and out save Metopia? faces. Okay. Metopia is coming to Nintendo Switch. It's weird. It's the Mii's because the Mii is so Cast closely so, so, in various roles so closely related the to the Wii. That it's like it's Turn weird that they still talk about knees now because it's just like, make feel like the air is a little dead. Lords. You know, it just feels like knees. Like the idea, like this game, this from game. what I'm seeing so far, Lamp you have to make the knees inside the game. Ready for you know, it just seems like the knees are kind of like There's it's not even part of the system feature, anymore. Letting you go wild with your knee creations and make them even more fabulous. They, they seem a little out place. That's all. You know, the designs on those seem a lot better. Really. I haven't played this. I played. I, I, I kind of. I don't like know if I regret buying this game, but can be ordered in game I, I bought this game items. and I only played it for like a month. So play some, however, and where I kind of got like. my worth out of it. I mean, I like. I kind of like. I think when Genshin pipes. came out and a few other games came out, I was just like, I'd rather grind in a combat game than kind of build a town. Then like if the add, the now if it was like Genshin mixed island. with Animal Crossing kind of stuff, I would I would be really hey, in love with it. Why not try recreating the Mushroom know. Kingdom? A game where you just have to build stuff is not my favorite thing to do. A free update for the game I like, I like some type of conflict 25th. in my games of some sort. Okay, in what's up about this tactical RPG? Oh, okay, it's like Fire Emblem. No, it's more like Devil Survivor. Or no, it's like Fire Emblem. <laughs> The range can be extended by attacking from higher no, ground. I would say it's like double survivor. Weapons, such as bows For those who play it. Thus, your forces can use the terrain and other elements to gain the upper hand. Interesting. An so enemy like... outflanked is susceptible not only to your initial attack, but also a powerful it's missing something, from the ally though. position behind the enemy. I feel like missing something from it. 
have some good voice actors in there though. I hear them. Charge into an enemy to send them flying into position for a follow-up attack. We win. I don't know, it seems a little generic. By first maybe? casting ice magic on the Project Triangle Strategy, a brand new tactical RPG. From you gonna tell us all that, but not have a real name for it? That's so weird. That's so weird. Normally they don't. In the it looks future. interesting, but it's missing something. After Hopefully next time we see it. A demo you have a demo for it, but you don't have a freaking title for it. That's so on weird. E and in the future, we'll conduct a survey to gather player feedback. We look forward to hearing that your is so responses. Weird. Interesting. All the ideas have been interesting. Be the ball, be the ball. Me. But the idea is, it does will the style and the art style stick with people? Because like that's the one thing about a lot of video games. Like I know I talked about like how earlier in this video, like how there's a lot of games that are kind of cool ideas, but you know they don't really fit for video games. There's a lot of ideas like this that are really good for video games, but it's like everything's about like that's why Genshin is such a big thing. If Genshin had a different look to it, it would it would be trash doing already by now. But it has cool design characters, really smooth looking, really artistic, you know, anime art style or really cool art style. It doesn't really matter if it's anime or not. And it just kind of fits with what they're trying to do. The fight for and it's like, survival you see games like this, now. you're like, eh, it kind of works, but on, it's going to be better with this. They're so coming out with this Have game? I heard this game. For me. From the creators of the Danganronpa ah, and Zero I heard this game, game series, that comes it was very divisive. <laughs> in some ways. And trapped in an oh, collection. shoot. I've never played any of these games, but Ninja I've heard Gaiden something Sigma. about this. Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. And Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge are coming to Nintendo One of those games Switch people didn't like. <laughs> I remember Master something Collection. a long time ago when I was a kid. Other Super oh, Ninja yeah, that's how I know. I've seen a, uh, an off brand something with some. All with previous downloadable content. These are dead alive characters, aren't they? Yep, are they are. <laughs> or. Are these characters? Yep, I've seen a off brand. People Ninja probably understand which one I've seen Dynamic after I saw I got the mask. Bravely like. Default 2 is almost here. Four Heroes of Light will Okay, now that I've seen Bravely Default 2 in action, it was a lot better than what it looked like to previously. Veterans and newcomers to the series can enjoy this. I don't know, I think Bravely Second is so 26th. good though. Like I know I know this game is gonna be good, but this Bravely Second was such a good game. With Noli, is it with Magnolia? With such a great An updated demo is also available. I just, I just don't see the, the same greatness in that in one. The legendary Ghosts and Goblins series comes to life as the Brave Knight Arthur. You'll unleash weapons, spells, and skills to battle Magnolia. monsters across challenges within the demon. <laughs> Local co-op play is. Hello there, I'm A.G. Oh, Aonuma, producer okay. of the Legend of Zelda series. Hit me with well, it. I'm sure a lot of with you that dirty stuff. thought there might be news about the sequel to The Legend oh. of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Everybody got cooked. <laughs> we don't have anything to share right now. Because they're still we working apologize. on it. Development but is proceeding smoothly. They're all in here for a reason. Able to bring you some new information this year. Okay, so this is coming out like now, we'll in 2022 to to or 2023 late at the latest. This while is you're all waiting, waiting while. however, I mean, it's Breath of the Wild. It's going to take a while. Especially if they want to change up what they already have. take a look. Oh, I'm about to. I'm talking over this dude. He he heard something. Is this Skyward? Oh, they have remake. They have the remake bundle. That everybody been wanting. This is the game that everybody was like, haha. Oh, everybody clown in this game. I wonder if people in Japan clown in this game because it all really matters is Japan's opinion when it comes, especially when it comes to Nintendo and a lot of Japanese businesses. It doesn't really matter what the foreigners say as much like. Sometimes people on Nintendo don't even know like how the negative opinion that we have over here over by a game. It's, a lot of times it's all about the Japanese market. So the Japanese market likes the game. They aren't gonna like. They ain't gonna remake it. They aren't gonna really like listen to the criticisms a lot of times of foreign market because they they just don't get them as much. Seen is the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. So it's just Skyward Sword this HD. This game originally released in 2011 on the Wii console, and now it's I'm, coming I'm gonna to get Nintendo back to that Switch. probably, probably not. 
but basically, Zelda Skyward Sword Japanese audience scheme in which players normally companies in Japan only really care about the Japanese audience as a sword and the nunchuck controller as a shield. Well, that with the shit increased is so processing power of the Nintendo Switch system, the controls here are smoother and even more intuitive. About. And we've but thank God that's the controls a, that's for the, the sword and the shield here by having the player Joy -Cons, hold two Joy-Con the Wii remote that decalibrated after a while. The Joy-Con controller in your right hand is the sword, but we've also made it possible to play the game with button controls okay, to ensure it can be played. Specially designed Joy-Con controllers. Sexy. The right Joy-Con controller is themed after the Master Sword, while the left features a Hylian shield. Oh, that is sexy. Ugh. The Legend of Zelda on Nintendo eShop. I don't know. I was like, I played through Skyward Sword with my cousin. It was, it was fun. It's long. It's, all, it's like retailers. an RPG length Many Zelda of you game. I would say it's the longest the one, Zelda, honestly. Skyward Sword was the sail cloth I feel like they popped the off too early. A stamina gauge it's like they, that depleted as you scale. They popped off with the Smash Brothers reveal and No More Heroes, and I feel like everything else is just kind of okay. Or I hope not those that of good. you who've played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will give this game a try as well. Nintendo always blows their load too early. They just blow their load with their best stuff and then to get people hyped and then I feel like they kind of deflate and then inflate at the very Please last look second. To the Legend of Zelda, yeah, so I'm pretty sure they have one more thing. I mean, that DLC for Age of Calamity, I might check that out. Well, what did you think? The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword has but been I still, that's the one thing about the Switch, Switch. it's still a lot of remake games on stuff, I don't know, it's like, the right control stick. it's still a remake, and I feel like okay. the Switch got 80% 80 80 remake our games, last announcement for today. okay, Please okay, take a look at this. I'm curious to see what this is, wow me, Bayonetta, what is this gonna be, okay, it's not gameplay footage, it's a Smash character, okay, it's, it's cartoony, Splatoon 3? You kidding me? I thought they were I didn't know if they were gonna make a third one right away. Okay. Oh lord. The fan art online is gonna be freaking ridiculous for the next month. Right out the gate? Dang. It does look a lot better than than uh, the first, the second game. Like the, you can see the like the lighting's a lot better. You can tell they know what they're doing a little bit more. Okay, I still need. To, I still need to play two a little bit more. I have two, and I, uh, I tried. I played through it, and then I got. I had something I had to do, and then I never got back to it. But that okay. That actually that inkling looks kind of cool. Like the hairstyle is a lot different than the usual. Because I remember the, the the transition to one and two. The hairstyles were pretty much very similar. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot the last like ink ink fest was like you villain or hero, and that would determine how the story would go or how the style of the game would be by the last flat fest. And I think the evil one. So it's like a very steampunk Japanese looking city. Okay, I'm feeling this. Let me hear the music though. You gonna have a soundtrack for me? Let me play, hit me with the soundtrack. Okay, okay. Show me what the girls look like. I want to see the two new girls in this game. They have one. We had Marie and uh, what was it? No, no, Callie and Marie first game. And we had Marina and uh, Pearl. So show me those two new girls. So the fan art can start flying. Okay. Show me, show me, show me a little bit more. Back into the ink. 2022. Damn. Oh, please show us the girl, the main, the, the hosts. I don't care if it's Callie and Marie again or Pearl and Marina again. What you've just seen is the latest installment in the Splatoon series, more. Splatoon 3. Because that, the, what this you do, you show two wives and two or any husbandos you have, so and it makes the internet go crazy. We hope you'll stay tuned for more information. But I know those. At a later time. 
what are they call Woomies, whatever the people who are today. To we showed France. you a sampling of games coming to Nintendo Switch. Honestly, a variety of games are in development. That was okay. And we look forward to sharing more okay. news with you in the future. I feel like that's all. I feel like Nintendo they could have either Thank waited a little bit longer or I don't know. I feel like they're. The games were okay, but I feel like they kind of popped off at the beginning and the ending. Like Splatoon Two Three is such a it's such a great announcement, and I'm actually kind of hyped for that because it looks it looks really cool. But I wish they showed a little bit more Splatoon Three, like the you know the the two girls and probably that they're gonna host, and then you know like kind of how the game looks like in general, other than just the gameplay, because the gameplay of Splatoon is very much Splatoon. I don't know. I feel I feel like they could have done a little bit more with some of some of the announcements. I think I think Normal Heroes Two is lit is like the hypest thing, and also Pyra and Mithra. Honestly, I need to watch that again. I don't know if I'm, I'll do like a second reaction or like a second go through of that because that was hype. That was really hype. I, but the thing, the, my problem is that I, I was so taken aback by it. I, my reaction was like, "Huh? What?" Because I didn't think they're gonna make it in, but that's hype as heck. Are they, do they have like does Sakurai have a thing where they said how, what they're coming out? I didn't see if they were they knew what they're coming out or not. <sighs> Let's see. I'll check. I'll probably check Twitter. They probably have it on Twitter where they're like, "Oh, Mr. Sakurai on a month from now." Hopefully, normally when they come out the character, he talks about it right away. But yeah, I really this this is a very okay direct. It was really enjoyable. Uh, I feel like they popped off a little early, um, and I kind of expected a, a, a Legend of Zelda. Re, like a tri you know the triple remaster like they did Mario but it's okay they, they chose not the they chose the game that was okay and if they remade like the that game in like modern graphics where they like upgraded the graphics for like Ocarina of Time to like the top top tier and then they did that for like Ocarina of Time Majora's Mask and what was or uh, and uh or like no maybe Ocarina of Time Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword that would have been perfect but that was okay. That was okay. Tell me what you guys thought about the direct down below. I know what I'm probably going to see because I know how Nintendo fans go. But I I pretty much have the same feeling as most people probably, but just not as probably harsh as words as I, as, as they're probably going to have. But yeah, it was fun. And uh, if you liked what you saw, hit me with a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Doesn't matter which one. It is helps you guys know I'm watching. Please hit the little subscribe button and a little bell icon to join the rebellion because I'm only best in any friends. And I'll see you guys in the next video and or stream. And make sure you guys have a damn good one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.